Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about a new lens and this is the Ranger from Laowa. It's full frame. Let's check it out. So this is a 75 to 180 T2.9 full frame zoom lens. I mean, this thing is tiny when you look at it, it's very small. For for a zoom lens, full frame, this is this is one of the smallest full frame zoom cine lenses that I've ever seen actually. It's very small. It's very lightweight. It reminds me of the engineer, but I think the engineer is slightly longer than that. It's a parfocal zoom lens. What is a parfocal lens? So parfocal lenses are it means that you can focus all the way to 180, focus on something very specific and then zoom out and as you zoom out the lens will keep whatever you focused on in focus. I mean it's very useful if, you, um, if you're a single operator or if you do documentaries for example of like run and gun kind of type of shoots. So there are two uh, mounts I believe this is the EF mount because I was using it with the Komodo and there is also a PL mount. So the lens is made completely metal uh, even the lens cap is made of metal it, it looks very very well made I mean it's very premium it looks beautiful it looks very smooth uh, very smooth flows on all the gears and I mean look at that flow, it's, it's, I think it's over 360, it's, it's really long flow for the focus, can't even do it in one go. <laughs> uh, it's better smooth when you look at the footage, I mean we'll look at that in a second. This is a T2.9 lens, and it's actually quite fast for a zoom lens, especially considering it's a 75 to 180. T2.9 is constant throughout the entire range, of course, and this is this is kind of the standard to cine lenses. Uh, I've got a 75 to 180. I believe there is a 28 to 75, um, but I wasn't able to test it because that's the only one that was available at the time. It has screw holes literally all over the place and then you also have these other screw holes on the zoom part of the lens if you want to do quick zooms. I was quite surprised to see that the bokeh was really cinematic actually in this lens. It wasn't um, just as neutral as I thought it would be. It would be. It's actually quite cinematic in its own way and it has its own little character which is quite nice and this is actually what I was looking for in a cine lens. If we're talking about cine lenses I, I like to find the character in the lens and this, the Ranger did deliver on that so I was quite happy with that. What was nice with this lens was I was able to go closer into a subject and not having to worry if I was going to lose the subject or not. The subject was there, the zoom was going to perform, I could go well into the details. So I thought it was a really nice, uh, it's a nice focal length actually. The focus fall off was at the same time very precise but gave this really nice cinematic look. Uh, which was actually what I was looking for. I think this is going to be a really interesting lens if you're doing kind of like run and gun type of shoots or documentaries or if you kind of a solo operator or only like a small, really small low budget feature film or something. You don't have a lot of gear or you want to go out and shoot somewhere wild, you don't have a lot of space. Uh, you can have just a couple of lenses like that in a bag and go out and shoot and I think this is great for that. It will deliver on 
anything you want to expect from a cine lens. I mean, it does deliver on the quality. It's built like a tank, to be honest. It's, it's rock solid. Um, I think this is going to be very popular. Thanks guys for watching this video. Uh, please comment down below if that's a lens for you. Uh, thanks Laura as well for sending this lens. I had a great time using it. I thought it was a fantastic lens. Can't wait to see what people will shoot with it.